Hey crafty friends, Diane with the Ruddy Raven here and I have a couple special announcements and then we're going to make a card. Um, first I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel, uh, liking my videos. I have reached a thousand subscribers. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's great because it's going to allow me to do live videos so I don't have to plan. Um, I just pop in here when I'm feeling crafty, make something, and you guys can watch. Um, the second thing I wanted to show you guys uh, is this cute little pocket thing. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Um, but I made this today. Eh, I didn't make it today. I made it yesterday. But um, it's just like a little tag pocket. This one's Halloween themed, um, but it's got a bunch of tags in the top. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. However, I would like to know if you guys would like a video on this. Um, I have been trying to keep my videos short, but um, I do still have to finish up that uh, uh, file folder little tag folio so this is another one I, I would like to know if you guys would like a video on but I do want to say I've been kind of not motivated um but today I got happy mail from Miss Kathy Lockhart thank you Miss Kathy Lockhart and this is the card she sent me so I used this card as inspiration to make today's card uh so this is the card she sent me very pretty um, and I'm going to show you the card that I made. And then we're going to make one together. Um, I can tell you right now, this card is gorgeous. I personally don't have the patience to layer all these strips. However, it would be a great way to use all your scraps. So, let's look at the two cards I made. Um, and I made two because I know some people aren't into Halloween. Um, this is the first one. This is the Halloween version. So I just used a single sheet of paper behind there. I picked a strip of, of um, pattern paper that coordinated and used that. So this is the Halloween version. And this is what the inside looks like. I just used another strip of that bat paper. I thought it was super cute. And then I did a Christmas one. Um, so you really can tailor this to, you know, any season. You could do birthdays with cupcakes. It's just, it's up to you. Um, but let's make this card real quick. So, you are going to need a card base. Again, I always make a two size card, so five and a half by four and a quarter. I just like to get two card bases out of my, my card stock. You're gonna need a ton of dimensionals for this design. Um, I went ahead and put everything together die cut wise first. Um, so let me get my insert done. My insert is a quarter inch, uh, so it's four by five and a half. I'm just going to put this strip of pattern paper at the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to cut. Oh, there, a craft lunch may happen. I really need to clean my desk. I'm working on probably a 12 by 12 area. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. And I really need to refill my glue bottle also because it's almost empty. So hopefully we can get through this card. All right, gonna put this guy in the middle. Now, if I were to mat the front of this card, it would be just like this white piece. It would be four by five and a quarter. Uh, so what I did was cut this uh, slightly smaller than four by five and a quarter, okay? And I'm just going to glue that down to the front. So. And 
center it in the middle of my paper. It's not quite in the middle. Ooh. Okay. Then I have a strip of uh, embossed paper that I ran through my embossing machine with this spider web die. It is um, three inches wide by five and a quarter. So I want, so it's slightly larger than the piece I'm gonna glue it on top of. Um, and what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and just in a single of a motion as I can, just cut a swirl. Like, uh, I guess not a swirl. It's not really a swirl. Okay. And these pieces are gonna go like this. Okay, and then you're gonna have your strip in the middle. So this is where your lots of um, dimensionals come in. And I'm just gonna use these. I, I used up all my uh, scraps there on my last two cards, so. Just gonna kinda go around uh, the outside of my swirl. I don't like things to be saggy, so I put, I tend to overuse dimensionals probably. It's fine. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So today my husband left on a cross country motorcycle ride. Um, I have to work, so I did not go. Um, but this motorcycle that he has, uh, he's been back and forth across the country three times. So this will be his fourth time. Um, so he enjoys that a lot. All right, so here's what's, how this is gonna go. What I'm gonna do is take all my dimensionals off first. When he goes, he uh, camps in a tent and, and I am not a tent camper. <laughs> I'm not a tent camper, I need I need a bathroom that's not in a bathhouse, <laughs> if that makes sense. I need a hot shower. I don't want to get eaten by bears in the middle of the night. So I am not a tent camper. Um, but. So tell me something you guys did exciting this summer. Um anything any good trips or fun vacations just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of these and i'm gonna glue all of them before i try to put them down that way i can finagle them a little bit okay now here's the important part pay attention to which way they go so this one goes this way right and i want to make sure i'm covering i don't want to press it down yet and this one goes this way because I want to be able to uh, even these up if they're uneven or not straight. I think that's good. Okay, so there's the bottom part of our card. Now we're going to take our little pumpkins and we are going to organize them where we want them. Um, so I think this guy went in the middle or in the back kind of towards the middle of the card so we're going to put some dimensionals down there and some glue on the back of this and glue this guy down and I just kind of
set them. Now this guy, um, I'm going to put a dimensional here and here because this guy is going to be down here, down here ish. So I do want those dimensionals there. Um, but the little pumpkin has to go down first. So he's going to go right here. And then this guy is going to go right there. And I'm going to glue his little face down just a wee bit. All right. And he's going to go right here. All right. So we got our pumpkins laid out. I'm going to just put this block on top of them and move them aside. And then I'm going to cut apart my sentiment. Um, I liked mine skinnier. Just a little bit. So I made it slight. Oh, that's not straight. It's handmade. It's handmade. Just keep telling yourself. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to cut this. Okay. And then we have that. So these guys don't need uh, dimensionals. You're just going to glue them straight to card. Happy? Following. And then we're going to put our little sparklies on. We're almost done with this card. Um, so there you have uh, a fun little Halloween card. all done i hope you liked this video if you did please like and subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below tell me what fun things you did this summer uh, i'd love to know uh, what vacations you guys took or what fun things you did um, and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye for now